Hey guys, so uh, hopefully you have already seen my vlogs of Red's Fest day one and day two. If you haven't, check them out. I'll include the links to those videos in the description below. Um, Red's Fest, basically, if you don't know what it is, it's a huge fan festival celebrating everything Cincinnati Reds. Uh, all a whole bunch of Reds fans, usually from all over the country, sometimes come to this two-day event held at the uh, Convention Center in downtown Cincinnati. It's a great way to meet fellow Reds fans, Reds players, uh, future Reds players, and past Reds players. And you can get a ton of autographs, there's a lot of stuff to check out, and if you're a Reds fan or just a fan of baseball, I highly recommend going. I always have a blast and I hope to go back again next year and experience it once more. And in this video, I'm going to recap everything that I got from Reds Fest, the free stuff, the autographs, and kind of share my experiences with you guys. Um, getting autographs and a whole bunch of other stuff that went down at Reds Fest 2016. Uh, but before I get to that, I actually uh, recorded Banglegrass 2016 Part 3 earlier today when I'm making this video. And I forgot to show some of the free stuff I got from Bengals games, uh, the various Bengals shows. So I'm going to show that before I get to the red stuff. So nothing too special. Um, got a, a clear bangle drawstring bag because the NFL has that clear bag policy. Uh, I got another Bengals koozie. Uh, so you have Cincinnati Bengals helmet on that side. Bud Light and the NFL logo on that side. We got a bang or not bangle beads. It was Bud Light basketball beads. These were, I guess, they just had extra of these lying around. And uh, they're handing them out at this bar called the Holy Grail during Bengals line. I thought it would have been like a football beat or something, but basketball, can't complain, free stuff. And I also got this Bengals wrap thing. Now, I haven't opened it yet, but you can make it like a scarf, um, a do-rag, um, a mask. There's like a bunch of stuff it has on the package to show you what it can be used as. I have one. Uh, a Xavier Musketeer one I got from a uh, University of Xavier men's basketball game last year, so it's, it's exactly like this, except this one is Bengals. Um, I also got these really cool Bengals shades. Uh, they are orange with uh, black tiger stripes on the uh, sides, and this side says uh, Fifth Third Bank, and this side says Go Bengals. So, yeah, really cool shades. I got these at, um, they're handing these out at the ba Buffalo Bills Cincinnati Bengals football game, where unfortunately the Buffalo Bills will beat the Bengals. And I also got this uh, uh, clear orange Bengals bag. As I said before, the NFL has that, uh, that rule about clear bags, so they're handing these out. So, I mean, it's better than having to buy one, so. I got that one and this drawstring one for future Bengals games, um, so I don't have to buy a clear plastic Bengals bag in the future. And then now on to the Reds Fest stuff. So if you saw my vlog on day one, then you saw the uh, swag bag that I got and the new lanyard that they're handing out. So here is the lanyard. It's white with uh, Mr. Red Legs and uh, the red baseball stitching on it. And something new this year is that it's a Velcro, so you can actually take it apart and Velcro it back together. Uh, I guess it's a unique feature, I don't really know, it's just a lanyard. But uh, I know some people were complaining about the Velcro itching them, so I don't know if they're going to do that again next year. And here's the bag. They went with a white bag this year, uh, past years they've been doing red. But this one is white with a baseball stitching, a big Reds logo in red in the middle. And then the bottom of the bag says Reds Fest, um, Fox Sports Ohio, and PNC, uh, PNC, I don't know if you can see it, PNC Bank logo. Those are the uh, two big sponsors, Fox Sports Ohio and PNC Bank, two big sponsors of Reds Fest this year. And I got some free stuff in here. Uh, they're handing out these t-shirts, um, Duke Energy was. Duke Energy is a big, massive electric supplier here in Cincinnati. So this shirt has the Duke Energy logo on the front. The back says, I uh, keep it stashy Reds fans with the trademark Mr. Redlegs mustache. And then the uh, sides 
of this sleeve has the Reds logo. So nice free t-shirt, can't complain. I um, also got another swag bag on the uh, second day at Reds Fest. Um, you get one basically every time you go, which is a really good deal. I think it's only the first 11,000 fans, so if you go and you get there early enough both days, you get two free bags and two lanyards and stuff. So I also got another free shirt. This one, same thing, Duke Energy. Reds logo on the sleeve, but the back is different. It says keep calm and stash, I guess. So, Mr. Red Legs mustache on that one as well. Free shirts. I'm always going to take a free t shirt. Uh, and we also got in here a uh, this Love TV Cincinnati Bell uh, snap around koozie. So, the idea is you have like a beer can or a bottle and you can snap it around. So, see, it snaps around my arm. Ideally, be a drink. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, I was playing with a lot, just waiting in line, because I like the snap noise it makes. So I was playing with that, waiting in line for autographs. Uh, what else we got in here? We got a Cincinnati Reds uh, newspaper that they're handing out for free. Um, it's called the Reds Report. And the guy handing him out basically said, this could be the last time Brandon Phillips is on the front page, and he's right. Get the Reds deal in this off season, so you got you get a free Reds newspaper, and what else they were doing this year, which is really cool, is they were handing out um, these Reds socks. Now last year they had a gray winter Reds hat. The year before it was the uh, All Star Game ornament you can see over my shoulder, my lone Christmas decoration. And this year they handed out Reds socks, which uh, I think these look awesome. Um, so, here they are. You have the Reds logo on the top. The sock is red with the black trim on top. Uh, you got an Argyle design with the uh, Red C and Mr. Red Likes mustache. And the heel and toe patch is black. So, tube socks, uh, Reds tube socks. Um, I actually will wear these to a Reds game <laughs> this season. Um, I have Bengals socks, I wear in every Bengals game. And I did not have red socks, so uh, thanks to the reds, I now have a remedy to that problem. And I will wear these. These are some, I think these are awesome socks. So I think that's a great giveaway item that the reds had. And I think that might be it for all the uh, cool stuff really in these swag bags. Um, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, I did get another free Toyota drawstring bag. I don't know how many of these drawstring bags I have. It was just a ridiculous amount. And I have another one, a Toyota one. So that's pretty much everything. All the free stuff, all the cool free stuff anyway from the red swag bags. Um, lanyards, socks, uh, shirts, you know, basic giveaway stuff that uh, baseball teams conventions do. And now on to the autographs. So in terms of autographs, I did pretty well this year. Um, I think total I had around 30, if not more. Um, I mainly had players I did not have the autographs of sign baseballs. And then if I already had an autograph of them, I just gave them my program to sign. And I ended up getting four programs. Um, so here is one of the programs. This is from, this was my program from uh, day one. You can see the autographs on there. And then here's the program I brought for day two. Um, only three autographs on that one, but uh, my girlfriend, I draw, I uh, brought her along with me, and she's a Reds fan and all, but she doesn't collect autographs, so basically, whatever she gets signed is mine, so um, she just brought her, had them sign her program, so this was the uh, day two program, has a lot more autographs on there than mine, because I was having them sign baseballs and stuff, and that one looks good, but I think the day one program uh, looks the best, because it was just loaded with autographs looks fantastic and with the frame all four of these programs for my autograph collection but yeah all those signatures on there um, looks really good I was uh, really happy the way that turned out with the Reds Fest logo in the background and all the autographs in the foreground and then on to the baseball so as I said um, if it's a player I did not have an autograph of yet I had them sign a baseball um, so I brought I think 26 baseballs with me and 24 I believe may have been signed in between that two day span 
there might have been 27 and I had 25. Yeah, I brought 27 baseballs with me um, Friday, Saturday. 25 of those baseballs were signed. And uh, we're going to roll them off right here. So uh, I'm probably going to butcher some of these minor leaguer names because uh, I don't know how to pronounce them. So this one is uh, Aristides Aquino. He was the uh, one of the first, I think one of the first autographs I had at Reds Fest for 2016. So that's what his signature looks like. Um, he is a Reds minor leaguer, obviously. And uh, you never know with these minor leaguers. I always try to get him if there's not like a superstar player signing or whatever because you never know if one of these minor league players is going to be the next breakout star for the Reds. Uh, this one was uh, Ariel Hernandez. He has a nice looking signature, I think. Signed it right there in blue on the sweet spot. Um, next was Cody Reed. Now Reed, uh, he was like a mixed bag last year. I think overall he's going to be a great pitcher. He, I mean, we saw flashes of brilliance during his first few games up on the main roster. And I think he had a no-hitter um, going for a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, here's his autograph. He signed it in Sharpie on the sweet spot on this baseball. And uh, he is easily one of the coolest dudes on the entire team. Um, when I got to get his autograph, he was, he was talking to everybody. He was talking to me. Really friendly guy. Coolest guy um, at Reds Fest, in my opinion. So I was really happy to get his autograph. And hopefully we can expect uh, bigger and better things out of him in the future. Um, after Cody Reed, we got uh, Chico, uh, Leo Cardenas, his autograph right there on the sweet spot-ish. Uh, it's kind of slanted, but yeah, I was happy to get him. So uh, after Leo, we went to uh, Dimitri Young, um, one of the biggest autographs I got on Friday. Really cool guy, uh, one of the main studs on the team during my childhood and his signature right there on the sweet spot in blue ink. Really happy to get his autograph. Uh, after Dimitri Young, it was uh, the Steve Selsky autograph booth. So here is Selsky right there on the sweet spot in blue ink. Looks really good, I think. And then after Selsky, we went over and got uh, Arismendi Aris Alcantara. I think that's how you pronounce it. Another Reds minor leaguer. Um, yeah, so he is a really nice looking signature. Um, looks really good in that blue ink, especially on the sweet spot. So uh, I was really impressed by the way this one turned out. Um, it was just, I think that's a beautiful looking autograph. So there is uh, Alcantara's autograph. And then we went over to uh, the back section of Red's Fest and got uh, Tim Adelman's autograph right there. Nice guy, uh, kind of quiet, but you know, he was just signing autographs there. So uh, he seems like a nice guy at least. Uh, so there's his autograph in blue. Um, other guys, like, I mean, I got Homer Bailey's autograph a couple years ago. He acted like he didn't want to be there. Um, so <laughs> uh, it was kind of refreshing to see a quiet guy, but he generally seems like he was a nice guy. Uh, Bailey, on the other hand, uh, not really now. Um, after that, we got uh, Chris Welch and Jeff Brantley, two former players turned announcers. So here is Chris Welch on the baseball in blue, and then uh, Jeff Brantley. Uh, one of my favorite Reds announcers on the radio, nicknames the Cowboy, and uh, I don't know, I just love the way he calls the action on the field, and then he always talks about food, which I think is pretty hilarious. So he wrote Jeff Brantley, and then under the Brantley, he wrote Cowboy, which is really cool. So yeah, Jeff Brantley autograph, happy to get him. Um, after Brantley, we got uh, Glenn Braggs, probably the best autograph in my opinion maybe him and Dimitri Young, two best autographs I got on Friday, the first day of Reds Fest. And Braggs um, was on the 1990 World Series Championship Reds team, had a, a phenomenal catch in the NLCS to help the Reds beat the Pirates, in which he uh, basically saved a home run for the Reds. And then probably the most memorable moment of his Reds career in the World Series, he swung a bat, uh, I think it was a strike, but when the bat came around, it hit him in the back and broke in half. And uh, yeah, he was uh, jacked on that 1990 team, and he's still jacked today. It's crazy how big this guy is, and still is. But yeah, there's his autograph, Glenn Braggs in blue on the sweet spot. Super stoked to get that autograph. Um, after Braggs, uh, we got Rookie Davis. Obviously a Reds minor leaguer. You can see him right there. Blue ink on the sweet spot. Nice guy overall. And then after Rookie Davis, it was the last autograph 
Booth of the Day. A couple more Reds minor leaguers. Uh, this one is Jackson Stevens right there. He has a really nice looking autograph too. Blue ink on the sweet spot. And then after Stevens it was a Blake Trahan or Trahan, Trahan. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. So here is Blake Trahan's autograph. Looks good overall. So that wrapped up the autographs for Friday, day one of Reds Fest. Came back for day two. And uh, I didn't get as much as Friday because Saturday is the most packed day of Reds Fest because school's out and then a lot of people don't work on the weekend. So Friday, if you're a big graph autograph, uh, if you're a big grapher like myself, you're only able to go one day. It's just going on Friday. That's when the, uh, less people are there. But Saturday, more crowded as I said, but I was able to get a pretty good number of autographs, uh, mainly from the Reds coaching staff. So here is Don Long. His autograph looks really good, I think. Um, it's right there on the sweet spot. And it's actually, uh, you're able to read it. There's some autographs you can't read. But uh, Don Long has a nice clear looking autograph. Um, following Don Long, and in the same booth, actually, it was uh, another Reds coach, Dustin Hughes. You can see his signature right there. Um, you know, these coaches are actually kind of quiet. They didn't really talk when I was getting their autographs. Um, following Dustin Hughes, it was Tony Jarmillo, Tony, Tony Jarmillo, not sure how to pronounce it, but here is his autograph, really small, uh, just like T. Jarmillo, Jarmillo, so that's his autograph. And then the next booth over was more Reds coaches, and the lines for these coaches were not very long at all, so we just went and hit them all up, so after uh, Jarmillo, it was uh, Mac Jenkins, right here. Oh, he's an okay looking signature, I think. And then after Jenkins, it was uh, Mike Stefanski. So this is what Mike Stefanski's autograph looks like. And as I said, these coaches did not really talk to us when we were getting their autographs. Um, I guess that's kind of a result of last year's uh, record and the fact that the majority of the city wants them out. But that's uh, besides the point. And then easily the best autograph of not only Saturday, but of Reds Fest in general, for me at least, um, the Cobra, Dave Parker. I was really excited to get his autograph uh, when it was announced. I went sprinting to his booth and I was super stoked to get that autograph. This is uh, Dave Parker, great Reds player from the Cincinnati area. I think he's actually going to have a bobblehead from the Reds Hall of Fame this uh, coming season, so I'll be sure to get that and just a chance to get to meet him and have him sign this baseball for me on the sweet spot. And his signature looks great to top it all off, so yeah, really happy to get Dave Parker's autograph. Uh, following Dave Parker, um, we went and got the autographs of Doug Flynn. He was on that Big Red Machine World Series Championship team. You can see that right there. Uh, he was hilarious, I thought. he was. Um, apparently he's a big UK fan, which I hate UK because I'm a Louisville Cardinal fan. And he's, uh, I was getting his autograph, he asked me how I was doing, I said I'm doing alright, how about yourself? He said, you've been better because uh, his Wildcats lost or whatever. So, but he was a, a funny guy. If you ever had a chance to go meet him and get his autograph, do it. He is funny. I was laughing at him when he was signing my baseball. Uh, after that, it was Tracy Jones, former player turned announcer. And they're at the same booth, and they could not be more opposite the way they're interacting with fans. Uh, so Doug Flynn was talking to everybody. And Tracy Jones was just kind of quiet, which is really odd because he's also on the radio and he talks a lot on the radio, but in person he was just quiet. So here's Tracy Jones' autograph. Um, after that, uh, probably the next biggest line of the day was for uh, these two guys, uh, mainly because of the first guy, Nick Senzel or Senzel. Um, so he is, he was the Reds' first round draft pick, number two overall this past year got his autograph and it was a mad rush to get him. Um, I didn't think it was going to be that bad because there was somebody else who was announced, like a, f a f current big name player who was also announced at the same time, but everybody wanted Nick Senzel and uh, we were lucky enough to get there in time to get his autograph so there's his signature right there and also with them in his booth was uh, Shed Long and this is what his autograph looks like and they had this weird rule. Um, I don't know if it was Long or Senzel, I don't know if they had the same agent or whatever, but apparently they were not signing anything that was blank and white. 
I guess they didn't want um, copies to be made and perhaps sold. That was the first time I'd ever heard of that, and the first time that uh, that ever happened at Red's Fest. They usually sign whatever you bring, but they would not sign anything like that. So uh, it had to have like a color or a logo on it, or be um, a baseball or a bat or something. But yeah, that's uh, Senzel and Shedlong. And then the last autograph of Red's Fest 2016 for me was Scott Shebler. I uh, really made a name for himself on the team this past season. A uh, really small signature, but looks cool on the sweet spot. And I actually had to take a double take because his signature of the SS, uh, it looks almost identical to uh, Skip Schumacher. And after I got this, I was like, oh, shoot, did I already get this guy's autograph? But uh, no, so here is uh, Scott Shebler. And I looked at Skip Schumacher's on my website on the autograph page. It is nearly identical to each other, but overall, Scott Shebler, uh, different from Skip Schumacher a little bit, but not much. And that was every Red's Fest autograph I got. So uh, yeah, um, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button, or going or by going down below and clicking the subscribe option. Um, make sure you give me a follow on Twitter at CincyFanZone. I live tweet during various sporting events, and I was tweeting out these pictures of these autographs as I was getting them at Red's Fest. And it's also the easiest and fastest way to get updates on my website, cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. I write weekly blog posts that I post to uh, that site. Um, every video on my YouTube channel is up there. And I also have a bunch of pictures from uh, the Red's Fest festivities. Um, all these pictures of these autographs are on the autograph page. And every bobblehead of my collection is up there. I have a whole lot of content up there. And if you haven't already, please uh, check out my Red's Fest Day 1 and Day 2 vlogs. Uh, they should be on screen or you can find them in the uh, link in the description below so just check those out uh, a lot of fun give you kind of a first-hand experience of what Red's Fest uh, was and how it went down and uh, yes yeah, so that's that's all I got for you that wraps up the Red's Fest 2016 series of videos hopefully I can go to Red's Fest 2017 next year if I'm fortunate enough and as always guys thanks for watching